think oh, let's speak about my journey maybe maybe some of you might get motivated and that might help you going forward in the next uh, years of your engineering you see that photograph you recognize who was it so uh, that's me and uh, that is when i was 2 years old so i was born in odisha just in case you don't know i was born in odisha and after one month uh, i my mom and my dad moved to mumbai and that is where it started all so the first 5 years of my life was in mumbai and we stayed in goregaon west so if someone is from mumbai they know uh, how goregaon west is so we stayed uh, back back Uh, so we stayed uh, somewhere uh, in one of the slums in Mumbai for five years, and my dad, I like, as you see when I speak, you'll see the entire credit kind of goes to my parents for uh, whatever I've achieved today in my life. So we stayed uh, in one of the slums, and my dad's salary was eighteen hundred rupees per month, out of which we had to pay the rent of eight hundred rupees, and we used to stay in a room which had uh, maybe the next picture. So we used to stay in the room. Uh, the next one. So this is my dad. Uh, so this is the picture. We had a very uh, small, whatever you call this. We used to sleep over there. And in the same room, we had a kitchen. And then uh, for the washroom, uh, if you have been to the slums of Mumbai, you have to actually stand in the queue in order to go to a washroom. So it was one washroom, maybe for fifty houses. So that is how we stayed for the first five years. And after that, it was it was my time to go into school. and my dad always had this wish that i go to an english medium school and i get the best of the education because he did not want that i end up where maybe my dad was at that moment so he always wanted that my boy gets the best education so he reached out to the private schools of mumbai and the donation they charged was massive so i was actually uh, i was actually i was actually admitted to one of this uh, bal vidyalaya that is what you call in mumbai And I studied there for one year, and it was a government college. Uh, sorry, government school. And uh, my dad kind of did not like it, and he decided let's move to a cheaper city. And when he tried to research about cheaper cities, he figured out that Kolkata is one of the cheaper ones. That is one. Uh, that is when he decided, okay, let's let's transfer to Kolkata, and we did take everything out from there, and we moved to Kolkata because we could not afford Mumbai, and then. We came to Kolkata, the city of joy, right? Yeah. So we moved to Kolkata, and uh, again, my dad's salary was near around twenty-two hundred. Why I'm mentioning numbers is because that's that is very important when you hear everything in terms of context. So my dad arrived with us, and it was uh, he tried to find a school for me. And since I studied in Mumbai, uh, my primary language over there was like the second language was Marathi. So I studied Marathi in my initial days, and when I came over here to a school, they said that Marathi, be it Hindi or Bengali, as your one of your primary languages. And I was not admitted to any of these schools. So I went to a school where the number I stood first in that school, and the number of students in my class was. So it was like a home. They just gave us full tag. I was I went over there, and for the first two years, I didn't study over there. And I was always first in my class. That was all. All of my best was. So post that, um, so we're staying near to the school. So I studied for like two years in that school, and after that, since I knew Hindi post uh, during that time, we decided to move to a better school. Now, when we talk about better school, one of the schools was the next slide, uh, the back one. So this is where I studied. Uh, this is Calcutta Public School from. Uh, this is situated in Bawadi, and I used to stay like four kilometers from this place. And my dad somehow managed to get me an admission to this, paying all the donation and everything that he did. And this school was located four kilometers from the place that we used to stay. And we could not afford a bus during that time because we were already paying a lot of rent. The school was already charging per month. So what we did was my mom used to take me up one hour before the school timing. We used to walk till the school and used to walk back from there. So my mom always walked like four kilometers, brought me, came back again during the whole like holiday time. She she again went and came back. So kudos to her that she always did that for me. But I was I was a kid. I was in class two three, and I was very very small. I could not bear it because walking four kilometers, four kilometers up and down was a lot for me. So I used to cry because 
as a as a child you do you are always like papa ye de do papa wo de do you are always like that right i was always one of those guy uh, one of those kids who always wanted everything from mom dad i never understood uh, our financial conditions back then so i said us then na oh like at that time there was this pretty like fashion of having a bicycle everyone used to ride a bicycle said so my uh, dad did i need a bicycle again it, it costed at that time 1150 and hero at last cycle so my dad said it's not possible but let's do one thing i'll give you 5 rupees every day and you think this full up right and you put 5 rupees every day in that and i used to put 5 rupees every day and i did that for 4 to 5 or 6 months and at the end i broke that bull up and i got 1150 rupees and i went pro chiller like all these children we went to that shop and gave it to him and i got my cycle and after that i used to take that cycle i used to take that cycle and i used to go to school and my mom used to just take me up and used to somewhere tie the cycle lock the cycle and then come back so this is how i started and then class 3 4 5 6 7 the next one so after class 6 7 i moved to the bigger branch and this is where i was this is you look this is a much bigger school so over here the students used to study where Kind of rich, so there was a different time during that time. I still remember the tiffin, the tiffin break or the rec- uh, recess break was for thirty minutes, and they used to bring this ch- uh, chips. Oh, stamped Cheetos, milk that they day played free milk that. So they used to bring uh, Cheetos uh, and all these things, and I used to bring the house wali ki khana, and I used to always feel like shit. My mummy, papa, my uncle, kuch nahi rahe. Okay, and it was so bad for me at that time. I used to feel so bad because everyone was. opening up a biscuit or a, something fancy i was always opening up my tiffin box so that is what 4 5 6 7 point and around class 9 was the first time we went to a shop and i said mom mujhe chips ka packet mil gaya and my mom somehow gave me that 10 rupees ka chips ka packet i still remember it was cheetos because i wanted that to have the free thing inside it i didn't want to eat the chips i wanted the free biscuit inside it so my mom gave me the chips ka packet in class 9 and that's when everything kind of rolled into me i went to study from that time and class 10 happened now something over here since i am a software engineer when did i start my coding journey so class 9 or 8 java comes in if you if you belong to icsc so java comes in so that is where i started programming i was pretty good at programming i'll not say i, I was a noob i was pretty good at programming right from the day it came in i always used to be the first one who used to submit codes in school as well So nine ten happened. At ten, I got a percentage of ninety, and then I moved on to do my eleven twelve from this particular school only. So I'll share a small incident which was like which always will be with me. So in class twelve, I was struggling. Like I used to fail in Hindi, a lot of other subjects as well, and my class teacher always underestimated me. So you're always like, "Hey, get the pass, get the diploma." Always had fights with these teachers. Class twelve happened, and the last three months, I realized that you no, know, I need to study. That is when I bumped up and I started studying, and I ended up by getting ninety six percentage back, ninety six percentage on class twelve. I have a funny incident to uh, share. So, as I said, I'm, I was good in coding, so I went to this computer practical examination which ICSC has. So the computer practical examination is generally of three hours. Where for the first one and a half hours, you have said that these are the programs that you have to write, and once you've written the programs, you can go to the practical lab and do it. They gave three programs on the blackboard, and I had a paper, and I was so good on that level that I finished up in like five minutes all the three programs during that time, and I took that paper and I said, "Ho gaya? Can I go and type it in the machine?" And they were like, "Abhi to ek ghanta bhi nahi hai." I said, "I have done." So they were like, "Sure, I have. You will not be able to change it if you, if you are if you are from ICSC. You should know." So after that, I went to the practical lab, and again I coded it up in 10 to 15 minutes, and it was done and dusted. And I went down in like 20 minutes. A three-hour exam was wrapped up in 20 minutes. It was a computer examination. I went up, and if you are from Bengal, you know uh, if there is an examination in Paris, they need you and sit outside the school, or also the college waiting for you to complete your examinations. So I went up, and the parents were asking me. क्या वो निकाल दिया था दिस सॉर्ट ऑफ क्वेश्चन एंड दिस थिंग आई वाज लाइक वेंट बैक होम माय मॉम वाज आल्सो टेंस आई सेड नहीं नहीं मैंने दिया था मॉम वाज आल्सो ऑलवेज वरी बट आई एंडेड अप गेटिंग 100 आउट ऑफ 100 इन कंप्यूटर एट दैट टाइम 
and that is where the coding journey kind of started. And then was the most impractical thing that happened in my life. Class 12 happened. Next slide. So the class 12, then this is what we get. I gave IIT J as well, but I as and everyone I also did not make it to an IIT because I did not have any preparation as such. I just prepared for my board examinations. Then WebJ happened. And for the first time I got around I think 16,000 rank in WebJ. And at that time, 16,000 rank, uh, I tried a lot of colleges and I always wanted something related to computer, like CSE or IT. So I did not get any of the government colleges. I got Techno India at that time and the other colleges. But the fees of Techno India, if I remember at that time, was 65,000 per semester, which was beyond our capabilities. So I said, this is not going to happen. Because it's not going to happen and you don't get a loan. I said, it's not going to So my dad was saying, ki, do one thing if you want to prepare by taking one year drop. Let's enroll into BCA, which is Bachelor's in Computer Applications. And he did, he took my everything and he put it into this uh, St. Xavier's ka jo shortlisting. Hota hai. And my name was in the first round on St. Xavier's in BCF. And my dad was very happy because you know St. Xavier's in Kolkata is a very big uh, team. So my dad was super happy. I said my dad, I'm not going to go. And from that day, I and my dad did not talk about Xavier's. Right from that day. Because my dad always wanted me to do something and I said, I'm not going to do it. From that day in our home, we always used to say, he in that room, I in that room, and we never talked. I stayed back at that one year, I studied, and I made it to this college, which was a key cap. At that time, the placement was not that great, but one thing I was sure was, okay, 1,000, 2,000 rupees per month, which is even lesser than my school fees, so I will somehow manage the finances. That's when I came to this hostel. And if you ask anyone in the hostel if they are still there, the same staff, I came to the hostel alone. No one came to leave me. Most of you have come up with your parents or someone. I came with my luggage alone. I got it into the room. I bought my beddings. Everything. Why? Because my dad was not talking to me. But yeah, he always supported me financially. He was always there. He was always there. But he never came with me. And we had this ego clash because I have a lot of ego. And so does he. So we always had that ego clash and we never talked. And eventually at second year I started doing some freelancing. Uh, the next slide. This is my first year. As you guys wear pompons, I also used to wear a bit of them. And this is the also like uh, in any case. So yeah, next slide. Uh, yeah, now, this is very, very special to me. You know why? You see me riding a scooter, right? Now this scooter was bought by me in second year and by my own money. Yeah. I was driving around the scooter in, in the college. So what I used to do was, I was pretty good at coding. And as you see that, now I'm an educator. So at the time also I had this wonderful skills of expressing myself. But at the time my skill was expressing myself into blogs. So I used to write a lot of blogs. So I used to write a lot of blogs for these different different websites and they used to pay me like 300 rupees, 400 rupees per block. And I used to manage like 8,000, 9,000 rupees per month that time, at that time it was very huge for me. I used to pay, from second day I told my dad I don't need your money. I started paying everything, my college fees, my hostel fees, I saved money and I got this one and I used to roam around showing off because it was, it was a big deal for me. Second day happened and third year happened, I, I used to code, code, code all the time and my CGPA was 7. It was not that great because I was just into coding. I used to study one day before uh, exams. After that, uh, there's an interesting story. Can I go to the next slide, please? My first song, every hour I was rejected. Yes, I was. So, it was uh, third year during the time of Srishti, February something. And Microsoft had this uh, internship round and I was shortlisted. And they called me for hacker. And my group had a trip planned to Gangtok. Three years, that's right, three months back. I could not pull it out. I went to Gangtok. I studied there. On the trip, I was studying on the laptop, on the hotel, I was studying. I did everything possible. And for me, I was at that time kind of the best coder in the college. I went that. And I was like completely ready. I went to Microsoft campus, had a bus, and I gave this internship job. They had two DSA rounds and one HR. I gave every each of these rounds, like two DSA and I cleared most of them. I also gave the HR round and that was pretty good. Both that there was five people shortlisted at the final stage. 
and they picked up two. They picked up two. I was, I did everything right. I asked them, why did you not pick me up? I asked the HR. She said me that everyone was equal. Five of you were equal. There was nothing to discriminate between you. The only thing that we could do is calculate on the basis of CGPA. And they did not take me on the basis of CGPA. I still remember I got out of that Microsoft Hathrover campus. There's a footpath near that. I sat there. I sat there for one hour. I cried like anything. Like anything. And one year back, one year down the line, next slide, I got my arms in internship. Right next building, I walked on the same foot. And that was something which made me like, okay, if, if, if you're thrown somewhere, like, you will get rejected. Everyone gets rejected in your life, be it a girl, be it a girl. Anyway, like, you will get rejected everywhere. So, it's important that you do not lie down. You pick up yourself, you see where do you land. And you need to improvise on yourself, improve on yourself, and then the results will come in. Now this Amazon, no, but this Amazon internship has a story which, which you can take a lot of things. So this Amazon internship was, I got this Amazon internship on 20th of December 2019. I remember the exact date. Why do I do that? On 4th of December, I got my Amazon internship mail of online assessment. And I gave that. And I gave that and I forgot because you know in uh, Jalpaigri Government Engineering College the semesters are between December 4 and December 18 or 19 somewhere around the line. And my semester was getting finished on December 19th. So on December 17th there is a mail popping out on my inbox that you are shortlisted for an interview at Amazon. And the interview is scheduled for Saturday December 20th at 9am on this particular Hathaway campus. Uh, on the bottom there is a star mark, no reimbursement will be given. Yeah. And but I checked the flight tickets because my semester ended on 19th and Bagdogra is a military airport so the last flight that takes off at Bagdogra is at 4.50 and this is how I know it because I was booking at that time. So the last flight that takes off is at 4.50. So my semester ends at 1 o'clock. Okay, if you know the timing is 10 to 1. My semester ends at 1 o'clock. On 17th, my bank account balance was around 22,000. I got my flight ticket of 18,000. I did not ask my dad. Because my dad had just lost his job in around October, so I did not ask for him. I booked my flight ticket, right off 18,000 rupees, and after that I was left with 4,000. I gave my semester exam on 19th. I went at 10 a.m. in the morning. I gave my paper at 10:45. I still don't know. I just gave. I just wrote 45 minutes so that I passed. I gave it. I went because at that time the roads were not that good of this particular highway, so it, it took like two hours, two and a half hours to reach. I went and there were two guys over here, I like to mention them. There was Mudassir and uh, uh, the other guy, I forgot the name. There's Mudassir and the other one who booked me a ticket which I'll come to next. So I went with this airplane, airplane ticket and I, my labor was in Delhi. So at Delhi what happened was in December there is this foggy thing. So the takeoff is delayed because I, I landed at Delhi at around 7.30 and my other flight to Hyderabad was at 10.30. Okay. Uh, other flight to Hyderabad was at 10.30, so it got kind of delayed and the flight took off at 5 a.m. in the morning. And I reached Hyderabad at 8 a.m. I gave my Amazon internship, I, there were like 300 people on that campus. It kind of freaked me out. I got my Amazon internship, I was super happy. I did not have a place to stay. So, because I did not book anything, I just booked a one-way ticket, I went there, I got my Amazon internship. And post that, I called up one of my friends. He, he said that he can give me a place to stay for a day. I stayed there for a place. Now the coming back was very difficult because I did not have money to buy an airline ticket. So the train from Hyderabad to Kolkata is 35 hours. So Udasir uh, booked me uh, a general ticket as I said when the day I was leaving. If you book it from uh, your app, it gets cancelled. If it's not, the reservation is not confirmed. So I booked it. Uh, so he booked it. I took that general ticket. I travelled 35 hours in a general compartment on that day. I did not get placed to sit, I was sitting on this bathroom corner, that corner and I went and I came back but I was happy. And the next slide, I went into Amazon and then this is where I back, uh, backed this off-campus placement. That was the first in our college. It states, campus placement, middle of three lakh Prakar Chakri, which, which means a campus placement of 30 lakhs has been achieved. So this was on papers and this is what I got after that and yeah, after that the life was Everything got back to normal. 
At first, जब मैं पहले मॉल जाता था आई टू ऑलवेज सी द प्राइस टैग बिफोर बाइंग एनीथिंग फॉर्चुनेटली बिकॉज ऑफ ऑल दीज थिंग्स नाम सो फॉर्चुनेट दैट आई डोंट सी द प्राइस एट लीस्ट लाइक आई एम नॉट नॉट फ्लेक्सिंग बट दिस इज वॉट यू कैन गेट इफ यू आर ऑलवेज देयर and if you want to do something and this is the reason i have this tattoo as well it states when there is a will there will always be a way so remember one thing if you guys have a will you will have a way always it's about the will let's go to the next slide and just wrap it up quickly and then i just launched a teaching coders club all the way in two years when i'm not taking over two years then i don't know i'll be for two years back and we have to make a subscribers a very short uh, period of time and next time and then yeah that's it guys uh, so maybe uh, i hope uh, it will give you something and i'll get you over here and it feels like a dream for someone who never thought that he'll make into this place and uh, yeah that's it uh, when there's over there will always be thank you